So I thought today I've got some spare tomatoes, so we might have a crack at making passata. G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So I'm just cutting these spare tomatoes up. And popping them into a pot to give them a quick scold. So we're going to scold that for probably close to 10 minutes. No water or anything, just to cut up tomatoes. Alrighty, so that's been stewed for probably close to 10 minutes now. We're going to take it over and shove it in the mill. There's a couple of basil leaves in that jar, um, container that I got out of the garden. And I'll show you down inside the mill. Now, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever used the mill and I'm quite excited. There's our tomatoes in the mill. You can see some of the juices run out. And we're going to start, oh, wrong way, Andy. We're going to start and turn the handle. And you can see what's happening here. That's a bit exciting, isn't it? And it should take out the seeds and the skin. So I'll keep doing that. Oh no, we've got an overflow. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh no, look. It's got a bit on the side. You need a second container. I told you this was the first time I used the mill, didn't I? You need a second bloody container. <laughs> oh, we'll have to redo it. Attempt number two. Uh, you can see I've set up a little different. I tried to put the jar straight under the front there, but it just won't fit. Um, so not a worry. I'll put it into the into the bowl there and then I've got a second bowl on the other side which will catch the skin and stuff and seeds so we'll try again right Andy turn the handle that's better and there on the other side out comes all the all the skin and stuff so I'll finish that off now that I've actually set it up correctly. I wasn't joking, folks. This really is the first time I've used this mill. Nice and thick, you can tell by what's on that white um, spout thing there. You can see all the seeds and stuff. Um, there's a little bit left still in there. It'll have to be all cleaned up. But I'm about to pour that into that jar that's got a couple of basil leaves. And then you get a choice, I guess, on I can can it or use it within the next two days or so. Uh, I think I'll probably can it. I thought I'd show you. It comes apart really very easily and fairly completely. So, you know, it really is quite an easy clean-up, which is really good. Because that's usually one of my worries, is it takes me bloody hours to get things clean. So it won't be the case with this one. So that's good. And the one I particularly used was the Il Passato Masta. Um, made in Italy, lots of different language instructions on there, so that's handy too. There you go, a little recipe on the side there. Um, yeah, I like it. It's good. It cost me forty-two fifty, Um but it really is a wonderful, easy way to whip, to use your spare tomatoes. And if I can that up, that bottle of sauce that I made, which I'll quickly swing them back around and show you. There it is right there. Uh, if I can that up, that lets me store all those cherry tomatoes that otherwise may well have gone to waste. How good is that? And just to reassure you, no, the seeds and skins don't get wasted. They go into the compost to grow us more veggies in future. All right, folks, thanks for watching. If you're interested in things about self-sufficiency um, or what you could grow in your yard, how to use the produce that you grow, maybe hit the subscribe button, maybe even the little bell so you find out when I put a new video up. Um, enjoy all your comments and I do try to answer every single one so thanks very much for that and I'll catch you next time eh see ya